Okay, hello, hello, Ana Maria. Good evening. Good evening, teacher. How are you? Fine. And tell me, how was your day? ¿Qué tal su día? Yet. Calm. Calm. Sí, yes. Okay, okay. So, what did you do today? What did you do today? ¿Qué hizo hoy? Tell me. ¿Cómo digo lo mismo de siempre? The same as usual. The same as usual. Yeah, well, I understand that. Believe me, I totally understand that. But... What we're gonna do, right? ¿Qué le vamos a hacer? Okay, okay, and tell me. Uh, what time did you get home today? At the four. At four? Forty-five. 4.45. Okay. Quite fast. Yes. Wait, that was very early. Eso fue muy temprano. Sí. Es que vivo muy cerca del trabajo. Okay. Cool. Well, that's nice. Qué bueno. Excellent, excellent. Well, so glad to have you here. Qué bueno tenerla por acá. And welcome to the class. Bienvenida. Okay, let's see, guys. Who else is around? ¿Quién más anda por acá? Roxana, hello, how are you? Hello, Christian. How are you uh, this lovely uh, night? Fine. Yeah. Okay, what did you do today? Good boy, uh, cuéntame. Today, very good day. I had a lot, a lot of work. A lot of work. You had a lot of work today? Yeah. Ouch. Well, what can we do, mm -hmm. right? ¿Qué le vamos a hacer? Yeah. Okay, what time did you get home? Uh, five, 5.30. Five 5.30? Five hmm. yeah. Five thirty is okay. Yeah. Okay, okay, and... Did you have dinner already? Uh, I made chicken and uh, egg. Oh, really? And drink coffee. Oh, cool. That's nice. That's nice. Yeah. Excellent. That is just great, my dear. Que bueno, que bueno. And it's even greater to have you here in class. Welcome. Thanks. Thanks to you. Okay, let's see. Jaime, hello, how are you? Hello, teacher. Good evening. Good evening. How are you doing? I'm fine, thank you. What's new for today? Um... Nothing. I rest for a moment. Um, I took a little nap and I am ready for class. Okay, well, that's nice. That's nice. Yeah. So that's cool. Have dinner already? Uh, not yet. Not yet. 
Not yet. Okay, okay, well. Let's hope you can have it soon. Esperemos que ya pronto. Yeah. <laughs> it's uh, time, it's time. Uh, dinner, wait for me. Dinner can wait for you? Yeah. <laughs> okay, that's nice, that's <laughs> nice. Excellent, excellent. <laughs> what time do you usually go to sleep? Um, usually, I go to sleep um uh, eleven p.m. in the the early the earliest the the earliest um ten thirty. Okay. Yes. What time do you wake up? Oof. I uh, wake up uh, at 4 a.m. 4 a.m.? Yeah. In the morning? In the morning. Man, that's crazy. I am dead to think... the world at 4 a.m. Yo estoy muerto para el mundo a esa hora. <laughs> you died when you sleep. <laughs> yeah, I mean, you don't wake me up. Not even with a cannon. <laughs> Compañones. Uh, está bien. Yeah, no, 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 no. no. 4 a.m. is no good. Oof. It's not acceptable for me. Como dice, we can do. ¿Qué le vamos a hacer? Yeah, what can we do? Yeah, that's right. Yeah, the problem is this. I usually go to sleep around 1. Yes. So at that time, man, I'm deep sleep. The best hour for the dream sleep. Yeah, I don't even know if I dream, man. I'm dead. You need yes. si sueño. Yo estoy dead to the world. <laughs> okay. <laughs> yeah, for real. At that time. You cannot count on me. No pueden contar conmigo a esa hora. I mean, sometimes I have been known to wake up at that time, but uh, it's exceptions. Yeah, Parece yeah. me levantado a esa hora, pero son excepciones. It's and, sacrifice. Yeah, the problem is that driving at that time is so... Uh, uh, Model zombie. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I mean, that's... As I told you, it's not good. I'm like falling asleep. It's terrible for me at that time. I suffer. Oh. Okay, Mr. Mr. Welcome to the class. Okay. Thank you. Okay. We will check it out. Who else is around? Veamos quién más anda por aquí. Okay, okay, okay. Carla Beatriz Garcia, hello, good evening. Hello, teacher. How are you, miss? I'm fine, thank you. Okay, how was you? your day? I'm just fine, just fine, you know. Um, My day was at the, ¿cómo se dice incómodo? Uncomfortable. Uncomfortable. Really? Why? Yes. ¿Por qué? Um, me amonestaron. <laughs> oh, really? <laughs> yes. That's bad. Um, yes. Okay. But what can we do, um, right? It's one of um, those situations where we go like, uh, and that's it. <laughs> no one, ni any more, right? Yes. Um, son de esos días que no son todo, todo el tiempo. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I mean, yeah, of course, it doesn't happen like every day, but when it happens, it's uncomfortable. Es eso, incómodo. Um, they are less expected days. Son días menos esperado. <laughs> yeah, yeah, it's something you don't expect. Yes. 
Pero lo bueno es que ya estamos en casa. Yeah, that's awesome. Awesome, Yes. awesome, awesome. Well, welcome to the class, miss. Nice having you here. Thank you, teacher. No, thanks to you. <laughs> yes. Oh my gosh, let's see. What did I do? Give me just one second, guys. Ah, oh, not possible. I just made a mistake. I hate that. Well, 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 let's see. Catherine, hello. How are you, Catherine? Hello, teacher. How are you? I'm fine, thank you. Okay, excellent, excellent. Tell me, how was your day? Uh, so, so. So, so. Yes. Okay. What did you do today? Okay, sorry. Um, uh, working. Eh, siempre lo mismo. <laughs> The same as usual. The same? As usual. As usual. <laughs> okay. Did you fight with people today? Todo peleando hoy. Yes. Oh, really? With whom? <laughs> My supervisor. <laughs> Why? Don't fight with the supervisor. You'll get in trouble. <laughs> um, I have a bad machine. Uh huh. Hi. Pues. Peleando ahí, que buscara que me la arreglaran. <laughs> really? Yes. Uh, that's a problem, right? Yeah. But in the end, did they fix it? ¿Se la arreglaron? Yes. Okay, that's cool. That's great. D dicen ellos, pero... <laughs> Okay, let's hope tomorrow you don't have a problem. <laughs> Primero Dios que no. Let's hope so, let's hope so. If not, you go back again and argue. Te vaya y discuta. <laughs> no porque lloro. <laughs> Why? Why are you gonna cry? Come on. <laughs> De enojada. <laughs> Muy enojada. <laughs> Oh my gosh, you are a very, very angry person. You gotta be <laughs> careful. I'm kidding, I'm kidding, I'm kidding. Well, so nice to have you here. Welcome to the class. Thank you, teacher. Let's see who else is around. I saw David around. Let's see, David Armando. Hello, how are you, mister? Good evening, teacher. Good evening, how are you? Mm -hmm. I am okay, and you? Ah, just fine, you know, here, same old story as usual. Lo mismo de siempre. Yeah, working, para variar. Yeah, that's life, no? Okay, how was your day? What did you do, mister? But uh, in this moment, I'm angry. <laughs> uh, my computer, I no no, 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 I no respond. <laughs> Ooh, that's a problem. That's a problem. Being there, done that. Ya me ha pasado. It's something that really, really stressed me out. Es de las cosas que me estresan. 
I understand you totally. I understand, understand. Okay. Yeah, I understand you because when that happens, I mean, uh, the only the only difference is this. Look, uh, due to my job, debido a mi trabajo, I mean, I always have a, a, a an extra. Para ser honesto, siempre tengo otra. Handy. Because I cannot be without a computer. No puedo estar sin, without a machine. And the two machines for the world. Yeah, I mean, I have the other one right there ready. Tengo la otra lista. It's like a, one meter from me. Tengo un metro de distancia. If something happens with this one, I connect the other one. You're surprising on the problem is two, la otra. Yep. I mean, uh, the problem is this. I cannot leave you guys without the class just because of the machine. So I always have, I with computers, to be honest with you, in this house, there's one, two, three, four. We got four computers because my sons got one for the university, my wife well, got hers, and I got two. So we are ready. Because how, how many how many children do I have? Just one. Do those do two children? One. One. Yep. So, son. Yeah, it's a son. He's 20. And so, um... He's 20 years old. And solo uno. <laughs> yep. That's okay. Yeah, no more than one. I mean, too expensive. Salen caros. I understand. And uh, uh, the other three. Man! Son. Three kids. I yes, will so? be crazy now. <laughs> yeah, I will be crazy. Yo ya me he vuelto loco. I mean, one is hard with three men. I wouldn't know what to do. No sabría ni qué hacer ya con tres. Yeah, it's it's. Something difficult. How old are your kids, mister? The whole. Um, How old are they? The oldest. Big no. The oldest. The oldest. Uh, 15. 15. Uh -huh. yeah, okay. Yeah. The youngest. Yeah, yeah, pequeño, uh -huh. five. The youngest. The youngest, five. Five. You got work. You still got a lot of work. Tiene trabajo por delante. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I mean, it's cool. It's cool. I mean, it's, it's just something different, right? Es algo distinto. But, I mean, they are cool. They are nice. A la larga. Kids are interesting. Son interesantes. Mister, welcome to the class. Nice having you here. You are welcome, teacher. Okay, let's see. Karen Martinez. Hello, good evening. How are you? Hello, teacher. Hello, miss. How are you? Ready for the class? Excellent, excellent. How was your day? Did you have a good day? Today, I was very heavy. Oh, really? I was in a standard almost our day. This is not usually my day. Oh, okay. Yeah, of course you feel it different, right? Yes. I can imagine. I can imagine. Well, at least you are home already. Lo bueno que casa. 
right? You are home, you are ready for the class. That's important. Welcome to the class, miss. Okay, guys, let me get the attendance. Ana Maria Rivas Durán. Present. Brenda Angélica Díaz de Chacón. Present. Cindy Sivania Rodríguez Leiva. David Armando Romero Hernández. Present teacher. Fátima Laura Mejía Meléndez. Present teacher. Fátima Lisset Pineda Paneagua. Guillermo Josué Osorio Ventura. Present teacher. Jaime Enrique Flores Sánchez. Present teacher. José Roberto Ramírez Beltrán. Present teacher. Karen Tatiana Menéndez Aguirre. Karen Zuleima López Martínez. Carla Beatriz García de la O. Present teacher. Thank you. Libni Rocío Rivera Lemos. Mónica Liliana Ocotán Barahona. Present. Nelson Stanley Cardona Hernández. Present teacher. Patricia Verónica Linares Mengíbar. Roxana Elizabeth Ramírez Lima. Present teacher. Thank you. Víctor Alberto Trujillo Cruz. Present. Churi Magdalena Villanueva de Trinidad. Ok, perfect. Well, teacher. Yes, miss. Me mencionó. Catherine Guadalupe García Chachagua. Present. Thank you. <laughs> yeah, it's just because uh, you are a... You give me too much trouble. Usted sí molesta. I'm kidding, I'm kidding. Me salgo entonces. No way, Jose. <laughs> Son broma. <laughs> okay, okay, okay. Perfect, guys. Let's see, let's see, let's see. Uh, 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 Robert, hello, Robert. Did we talk already? No, right? Oh, good night. Hello, mister. Good evening. Good evening. How are you? I'm just fine, just fine. Same old story as usual, working. What about you? You're okay. I'm chilling at home. Okay. Taking rest in front of my door house. Resting. Yeah, I'm resting at home. Okay, that's nice. Uh, that's really nice. How's the weather there? ¿Qué tal el clima por ahí? The weather is, could be rain, I don't know, but it's... It looks like it's going it's, to rain. Yeah, but it's dropped some drops of water. Man... Lucky you here is hot. Yeah, it's really hot right here. Yeah, where do you I'm live? I'm agreed to you. I live in Santiago Nonualco. La oh, Paz. really? Yeah, I'm living in the central city here. Okay. And where do you live, Mr. I live in San Martin. Oh, wow. There is a nice place to live. I have a uh, a cousin there. Okay. Oh, really? Yeah. When the gang members was controlling the area, you know. <laughs> oh, it was difficult. 
was so so hard go into there yeah yeah but nowadays it's different yeah so i'm feeling really so glad yeah. with the situation yeah actually where i live it's always been a little bit calm you know yeah we had too much calm all of we in el salvador yeah but i mean it's okay, it's okay. Mister, welcome to the class. Thank you, teacher. Thanks to you. Hey, Guillermo, how are you? Hi, teacher. I'm tired. Really? A heavy day? Mm, yes. Okay, okay. Uh, money back machine. I'm sorry. <laughs> Okay. So you've been busy? Yes. Okay, okay. Well, it's nice to have you here in class, Mr. And welcome. Yes, great. Okay, let's see who else is here. Victor, hello, Victor. How are you? Hello, teacher. Are you fine? Okay, how was your day? Uh, good, very good. normally okay okay what time did you finish working for 33 okay and you got home at 5 10 at 5 10 okay so you had dinner already not yet but soon Pero pronto. Uh, de, después de la clase. After the class. After the class. De... Okay, okay. Well, mister, welcome. Nice having you here. Thank you. Okay, let's see, let's see, let's see, let's see. Brenda, hello, Brenda. Hello, teacher. How are you? Good evening. Good evening. I'm fine. Okay. How's your day? Um, they are asking for a lot of work. It is very heavy. Heavy? Good. Thank God every day is fine. Okay, okay. Thanks God every day you are fine. That's cool. I like that. I like to hear that. Well, miss. Welcome to the class. Nice having you here. Monica, hello. Hello, teacher. How are you? So, so. So, so. Okay. How was your day? ¿Cómo estuvo ese día? <laughs> really? Really? Why? Why do you say so? ¿Por qué dice eso? 
porque me toca que sacar más de mi capacidad. Oh, really? So what time did you finish working? Teacher, dígame cómo puedo hacer, cómo puedo tener dinero pero sin trabajar, por favor. Okay, don't know, but if you find the clue, let me know. No tengo idea, pero si encuentra cómo me avisa. If you find the weight, let me know. Se encuentra cómo me avisa. Se encuentra cómo me avisa. Busquemos la solución. Yeah, yeah. Okay, well, welcome to the class. Uh -huh. Okay, guys. Let's see. Today we are going to start a new unit. Hoy comenzamos una nueva unidad and it's going to be very interesting, actually. I've got a very good topic and I got a PowerPoint presentation and it's going to be cool. Va a estar, bueno, interesante. Ok, let's see. Well, today we're going to start... Uh, we start working with a new topic. And let me show you in the manual because we got a couple of things to do before we start right there. Okay, okay. Let's see, everything's ready here. Todo listo acá. Let me share a screen with you guys. Les comparto. Okay, you're gonna have you're gonna have to listen to me practice the, read the conversation and I want you to pay attention to the pronunciation and mostly of new vocabulary okay guys so let me read for you how often do you check your email every two hours and you well i try to check it as often as i can and how often do you call your clients i often call them once a week on monday but i usually call them on friday to check their order do you call clients yes i always call them first thing in the morning i believe it is important to have contact with them all the time you're right. I repeat. How often do you check your email? Every two hours. And you? Well, I try to check it as often as I can. And how often do you call your clients? I often call them once a week on Monday, but I usually call them on Friday to check their order. Do you call clients? Yes, I always call them first thing in the morning. I believe it is important to have contact with them all the time. You are right. Okay. I'm going to send you a screenshot so you can practice it. Let me do it right now. Let me just get it ready before I send you to the groups. It's better if we have it like there before you get in there. 
let's see uh, 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 perfect perfect and perfect okay Okay, guys, I just send you that. Okay, now the groups. You're going to be working in pairs, guys. So groups are created. Please jump in. You're going to have four minutes. Fatima Laura, you cannot get into the group. Hello. Hello, Victor. I'm going to send you to a group, okay? To another group. Okay. Para ahí, para medio ahí ver la palabra que nos está costando, porque por lo menos la primera del diálogo sí me cuesta pronunciar. Bueno, todo, pero esta como que más. Often. 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 How often. 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 often
How often? How often? Uh, how often? Yes, you don't say the T. No pronuncia la T. How often? Ah. How often do you shed your name? Why I keep mentioning that. Often as well, I don't know. How often do you shed your name? Ahora inicia usted y le sigo yo. Oh, Vaya, pues aquí está la tenía oh. donde yo. Pero ahí está el audio. Ahí está el, el audio para que podamos escuchar bien la pronunciación. Bueno. Empiezo otra vez. Voy a empezar. How often do you check your your email? Every two hours. And you? Wait. And three check is uh often I it can and how often do you care? Ukraine. I often call them once a week on Monday, but at call them on Friday to check the order. Do you call clients? Yes, I always call them first thing in the morning. I believe in it's important to have contact with them all of the time. You, you are right okay you are gonna be the first one how often do you check your email every two hours and you well i try to check it as often as i can and how often do you call your client Laura, uh, how often do you check your emails? Every two hours, and you? Well, I try to check it as often as I can, and how often do you get your time? I often call them once a week on Monday. But I usually call them on Friday to check their order. Do you call clients? Yes, I always call them first thing in the morning. I believe, come on. believe. I believe it is important to have contact with them all the time you are right okay okay the level este vaya karen inicie luego voy a hacerlo yo y, y después fátima okay how often do you check your mail Every two hours, and you? Well, I try to check it, it as often as I can. And how often do you call your client? I also call them on a week on Monday, but I usually call them on the Friday to check their, their, their order. Do you call client? Yes, 
I always always call the first thing in the morning. I believe is it is important to have contact with them all the time. You are right. ¿Quién, ¿Quién quiere empezar? Sí, ya se está mejorando bastante. En Fátima Laura. Ya pasemos dice, la tercera línea que, que ahí me trago bastante. Sixty seconds, guys. Sixty seconds, guys. Sixty seconds. Okay, let's see. Brenda Diaz and Monica Liliana, you're the first ones. Brenda, you start. Sabía que yo me la primera. Bien. Okay. ¿Quién empieza? Brenda. Okay. <laughs> How often often do you share your smile? Teacher, no molesta si comparte la imagen. No problem. Give me just one second. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Uh, 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 hold on. Okay. Every two, four, and you? Well, I'm trying to check it up uh, often as a okay. And how often do you call your client? I often can take on a week on month. With I decide time and on free time to check great or do you have clients? Clients. Clients. Yes. Yes. Forwards call the first time in the morning. I believe it is important to have contact with the whole day time. I You're right, you're right. Robert Beltran and Yuri Villanueva. Robert, you start, please. 
Okay. I'm gonna be young and then you is says, okay. How often do you check your email? Every two hours and you. Well, I I try to check it as often as I can. And how often do you call your client? I often call them once a week on Monday, but I usually call them on Friday to check their order. Do you call clients? Yes. Yes, I always call them first first thing in the morning. I believe it is important to have contact with them all the time. You are right. You're right. You're right. You're right. You're Perfect. right. Perfect. Fatima Lisette and Catherine Guadalupe. Yeah. Uh, Fatima. How often do you check in your email? How often? How often? How often do you check your email? Every two hours. And you? Wait, well, I try to check in it as often I scan. And how often do you call clients? I often call them once a week on Monday. But I usually call them on the Friday to check their order. Do you call clients? Yes, I call the first thing in the morning. Believe it is important to have contact with time. With them, with okay. them all the time. With them all the time. You are right. Perfect, thank you. Uh, Fatima Laura and Jaime Enrique. Fatima, ready? Yes, teacher. Okay, Jaime, you start. Okay. How often do you check your emails? Every two hours and you? Well, I try to check it as often as I can. And how often do you call your client? I often call them once a week on Monday. But I usually call them on Friday to check their order. Do you call client? Yes, I always call them first thing in the morning. I believe it is important to have contact with them all the time. You're right. Perfect. Thank you. Now, uh... Karen Martinez and Victor. Karen, ready? How how often do you check your email? Every two hours, and you? What? I try to check is uh often as I can and how often do you call your client? Clients. Clients. I often call them once a week on Monday, but I usually call them on Friday to you check their order. Do you call clients? Yes, I almost call them first thing in the morning. I believe in in important to have contact with them all the time. You're right. Perfect. Ana Maria and Carla Beatriz. Ana Maria, you will start. How often do you share your email? 
every two hours. And you? Well, I try to check as often as I can. And often, and how often do you call your clients? I often call the ones I will on Monday. But I usually call them on the Friday to share their order. Do you call clients? Yes, I always call them first thing in the morning. I believe it is important to have contact with them all the time. You're right. Okay, perfect. Thank you. David Armando and Roxana Thank Elizabeth. You. Thanks to you, ladies. David, you start. Okay, teacher. How often do you check your mail? A very, a very two hour and you? Well, I need to check is the often as I can. In often, do you call the client? I often call them uh, one hour week on Monday, but I usually call, call them on Friday to check them. Or then do you call, call clean clients? Yes. I will come the first thing in the morning. I believe it is important to have contact while they have the time. You ask why? Okay, perfect. Thank you. Now, Guillermo Josué and Stanley Cardona, please. How often do you check your email? Every two hours, I do. Well, and three to check it at, as often as I can. And, of, and how often do you call your planes? I often call thing one a week. And one day, but I usually call them on Friday to check their whole hours. Do you do do you do you call clients? Yes, I always call them free first deep in the morning, and, and barely is this important important. To have contact why they are they time. You are me. Okay, let me repeat for you guys. Thank you very much, uh, Stanley and Victor. How often do you check your email? Every two hours. And you? Well, I try to check it as often as I can. And how often do you call your clients? I often call them once a week on Monday, but I usually call them on Friday to check their order. Do you call clients? <clears throat> yes, I always call them first thing in the morning. I believe it is important to have contact with them all the time. Okay, guys, let's continue. Let's see, let me get the attendance because it's time already for the second attendance. Uh, Ana Maria Rivas Durán. Present teacher. Brenda Angelica Díaz de Chacón. Present teacher. C Sandy Sivania Rodríguez Leiva. David Armando Romero Hernández. Present teacher. 
Fátima Laura Mejía Meléndez. Present teacher. Fátima Lisette Pineda Paniagua. Present teacher. Guillermo Josué Osorio Ventura. Present teacher. Jaime Enrique Flores Sánchez. Present teacher. José Roberto Ramírez Beltrán. I'm here, teacher. Uh, Karen Tatiana Menéndez Aguirre. Karen Suleima López Martínez. Present. Carla Beatriz García de la O. Present teacher. Catherine Guadalupe García Chachagua. Present. Libni Rocío Rivera Lemos. Mónica Liliana Ocotán Barahona. Present. Thank you, Monica. Thank you, Fatima. Yes, we hear it. Uh, uh, Nelson Stanley Cardona Hernández. Present teacher. Patricia Verónica Linares Mengíbar. Roxana Elizabeth Ramírez Lima. Present teacher. Thank you. Víctor Alberto Trujillo Cruz. Yuri Magdalena Villanueva de Trinidad. Okay, guys, let me continue. Okay, now we're gonna check on a presentation. Yes. Okay, no problem, no problem. That's okay, that's okay. Let me share with you. I got a little presentation here for you guys. Sorry, guys, I don't know what happened. Uh, 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 let's see. Here we go. Okay. Adverbs of frequency, okay. This is a grammar point, very interesting actually. What are the adverbs of frequency? Well, uh, look, we use them to uh, imagine study habits. I got an F again, again, de nuevo. I got an A plus, cool, right? Very good. Now, you got an A plus again? How do you do it? Well, I always do my homework and I often ask the teacher for help. Oh, that's the key. Look, always do my homework and I often ask the teacher for help. Mm, well, I am usually late for class and I never do my homework. Ah, that explains the F, right? Maybe I need to try your study habits. Okay, the adverbs of frequency are used to say how often you do something or something happens. Cuán a menudo, okay? You do something or how often something happens. Now, you see, we got 
In this case, when we talk about how often, cuando hablamos de cuán a menudo, we are not like specific. Not necessarily we are going to be specific because we are talking about uh, uh, average. Estamos hablando de promedios, porcentajes, okay? It's not like exact. And perhaps what is always for me is not always for you. Let me explain this. Quizás lo que yo digo que es siempre para mí no es siempre para usted. And you ask me, how so? Y usted me dice, ¿cómo así? Uh, like, imagine that I tell you, uh, 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 I always shave. Yo siempre me rasuro. Okay, but not every day. And David tell me, oh, I always shave in the morning. Oh, I always shave at night. But it doesn't mean that it's every day. And David shaves every day. David se rasura todos los días. I don't. I shave every two, three days. Okay, you see, always is not the same for him than for me. La palabra siempre no es lo mismo para él que para mí. You gotta take that into an account. Okay, we are not talking about exact. No estamos hablando de algo exacto. Okay? Unless you are saying never. A menos que usted diga never. Usted diga nunca. That's zero. Let's continue with the presentation. Okay. Look here. Always. He always studies. Always, all the time, siempre. Usually. Mm, usually is usualmente, not all the time. Okay? Often, a menudo, but it doesn't mean that is 100%. It's just more than sometimes. Okay? Sometimes, he sometimes studies, sometimes, you see, a veces. Some people say that sometimes is 50%. En algunos lugares van a encontrar ustedes que sometimes aparezca como 50%. That's okay, remember, it's not a specific. Rarely. Rara vez. He rarely studies. Yes, yeah, sure, he's always playing video games. Never. Okay, he never studies, el nunca estudia. Now, the adverbs of frequency, the position in a sentence. If we are talking about the verb be, si estamos hablando del verb be, am, is, are, they always come after the verb. Look, she is, this is the verb, sometimes late. The students are never bored. Oh, they are always happy and active. They are never bored. You see, never is the adverb comes after the verb. Any other verb, con cualquier otro verbo, they come before, van antes. Look, she often checks her answers. She often checks her answers. You see, often is the Albert comes before the verb. He usually pays attention in class. He usually pays attention in class. Okay? The verb is pay attention. The verb comes after the Albert. Sometimes it's a special Albert. Sometimes it's an Albert especial. Okay? So sometimes can also come at the beginning or the end of a sentence. El sometimes puede ir al inicio o al final. The dog eats his homework sometimes. Sometimes the dog eats his homework. The dog sometimes eats his homework. You see, at the end, at the beginning, or according to the rule. So, let's see. We are, I sometimes study at my computer. Okay. Use ever in yes, no questions. Ever means at any time. Ever quiere decir a cualquier hora. Are the tests ever easy? Does he ever get an A? 
como alguna vez. Ok. Are the tests ever easy? ¿Son alguna vez fáciles los exámenes? Does he ever get an A? ¿Alguna vez él obtiene una A? Do not use ever in affirmative. Never. Ok. Never use it in affirmative sentences. Do you ever come on time? That's a question, right? Yes, I ever come on time? Oh, mistake. I always come on time. I never come late. We use how often to ask about frequency. Do you remember with the conversation we were using how often, right? So, how often do you study with a partner? I rarely study with a partner. Okay, how often? Look at the example. Fall asleep studying, be tired. How often do you fall asleep studying? How often are you tired? Remember, in this case, because we are talking about the verb be, and the subject is you, so you are. How often are you tired? Okay, how often? What will be the question with number one? ¿Cómo sería la pregunta en número uno? Guys. Jaime, open your microphone, please. Help me out. Okay. Uh, how often uh, we study in a group? Okay, no, look at the subject here. How often do you study in a group? Okay, how often okay. are you bored in class? How often do you Listen to the teacher. How often do you practice speaking? How often do you get an A on a test? <clears throat> How often are you confused in class? Okay, now let's see. Siempre le tenemos que agregar el grupo. No. No. No, not all the time. Let me explain again. Déjeme explicarle de nuevo, okay? Oh, to the question. It depends. Uh, the questions you use do when it's another verb. If the verb is the verb be, you don't. Si el verbo es el cero estar, no. Con cualquier otro verbo, sí. Okay. Let me explain in a different way. Vamos a verlo distinto. Okay, we're going to use the board. Vamos a usar la pizarra. Okay, okay. Let's see, let's see. Look. Remember, we are talking about the Alberts of Rick. Okay, we got the verb be. When we talk about the verb be, we are talking about am, is, are. Okay, that's the verb be. Am, is, are. Okay, in this case, The, the structure is this. Look. Subject plus verb. What's the verb? Um, is are. 
Ok. Plus the adverb. Plus the complement. Ok, that's with the verb be. Right? Eso es con el verbo cero estar. Hold on. Oh, I'll have to erase the whole thing. Perdón que tuve que borrar todo. I repeat. We got subject, clause, the verb. The verb is the verb be. So, am, um, is, are. Plus the adverb. Plus the complement. Okay? That's the order. Now, but this is with the verb be. This is an special verb. Este es en el caso del verbo ser estar, el cual es un caso especial. Okay? So, we are talking about two different things here. Estamos hablando de dos cosas distintas. The verb be and now. With the rest of the verbs. Con el resto de los verbos. Okay? With the rest of the verb, the structure is... Uh, uh, uh. Subject plus the Albert plus the verb plus the complement. Okay, examples, ejemplos. I am always late for class. That's bad. I am always late for class. Let's see the structure. If it fulfills the structure. Let's see, we got the subject, we got the verb, we got the adverb, and we got the complement. Remember that in the case of the complement, we are talking about all these. Now, but in this case here, we are talking about any other verb, cualquier otro verbo, okay? Any other verb. So, an example. They always come on time. ¿Vea? Ellos siempre vienen a tiempo. Subject, adverb, verb, and complement. They always come on time. And it doesn't matter the verb. No importa cuál verbo sea. Could be come, could be work, cualquier otro verbo. Like, uh, let's see. Monica, sometimes, oh no, sometimes we are going to explain it later. Monica, uh, 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 rarely works on Sundays. Monica rarely works on Sundays. You see, subject, adverb, the verb, the complement. So it doesn't matter the verb. This is the general rule. Esta es la regla general. Okay? This is the structure for, like, in general. This is the special case. Este es el caso especial, okay? Remember, this is the special case. This one right here. Okay, this is an special case, is the verb be. With the rest of the adverbs, this is the rule. Now, the question you were asking me is about uh, how to do the questions. Cómo hacer las preguntas, okay. The questions. How often? Then comes the verb. When we are talking about the verb be, cuando estamos hablando del verbo ser o estar, okay? Just in this case, 
It's am, um, you know, is, are, plus, the adverb, plus, the complement. But I repeat, this is just with the verb be. Le repito, por eso lo tenemos acá de este lado. Es solamente con el verbo ser o estar. Okay? And after this, we come with the question mark, right? Like, how often are you late for work? But I repeat, this is just the special case of the verb be. Estamos hablando aquí del caso especial del verbo ser estar. With the rest of the verbs, con el resto de los verbos. How often? Plus the auxiliary, because in this case it's a present, simple present. Como estamos hablando, el presente simple. The auxiliary, do or does. Right? Plus. The subject. Plus the verb. Plus the complement. Plus the question mark. This is the structure for the other. Este es para todos los demás. Examples, okay. How often do you cook? Look. Oops, I'm sorry. How often do you cook? When do we use does? Ah, we use does when we talk about he, she, or it. So, how often does she work nights? ¿Qué tan, menudo, ¿Qué tan a menudo trabaja por las noches? Okay. How often does she work nights? Nice? In this case, do and does are auxiliaries. Yeah, but we use it with another verb. With the verb be, you don't. Okay? How are we up to here? ¿Cómo vamos hasta acá? Recuérdense, de este lado tenemos el cero estar, sus propias reglas. Then we have the other verbs. And... Special adverb, sometimes. Adverbio especial, sometimes. Okay? In this case, is something different. Sometimes. Okay. In the case of sometimes, you can have it. With the... General rules, you can also have it at the end, or you can also have it at the begin. Okay. Sometimes is different. Puede ser con las reglas generales, o sea, de acuerdo a esto, look. The verb be. She is sometimes at home. Ella a veces está en casa. Normal rule, right? With the verb be. Con el verbo cero estar, veamos sujeto, el verbo, el adverbio, el complemento. Subject, verb, adverb, complement. At the beginning, al inicio. Sometimes she is at home. At the end, she is sometimes 
at home. And the sentence is the same. Oh, I'm sorry. She's at home sometimes. Normal rule at the beginning, at the end. You see? The adverb sometimes is special. Este es un adverbio especial. It's the only one that can be with the rule at the beginning or at the end. With any other verb, con cualquier otro verbo. Look at now. Vean ahora. We always study a lot. Oops, I'm sorry. Sometimes. We sometimes study a lot. The general rule, right? La regla general. Sujeto, adverbio, verbo y complemento. Subject, adverb, verb, complement. At the beginning, sometimes... We study a lot. At the end, we study a lot sometimes. And there you have the rules. Questions, preguntas. Check it out, guys. Véanlo, véanlo. Teacher, va a mandar esto al grupo. Yes, yeah, sure, as usual. Eso siempre, don't worry. Question, guys? Teacher. Yes, tell me, tell me. Primero, Jaime. <laughs> Gracias. Eh, and sometimes eh, se pueden hacer preguntas con este adverbio um, let's see is she sometimes at home the thing is this la cuestión es esta usually when we want to ask about the frequency normalmente cuando queremos preguntar la frecuencia de algo usamos how often No decimos, eh, a veces está ella en casa. ¿Rara vez está ella en casa? No, normalmente preguntamos, eh, how often, qué tan a menudo. Nosotros decimos, qué tan seguido. Ok. We don't usually speak like that. Normalmente no hablamos así. <risa> No sé si le expliqué, Jaime. Sí, sí. Thank you. Ok, who else? ¿Quién más? Yo, teacher. Yes, tell me, tell me. Este, en eso de las primeras, de las, donde está la pregunta, siempre vamos a usar how often. Si usted quiere preguntar sobre la frecuencia, o sea, qué tan seguido, uh -huh. que a menudo se hace algo, sí. How often? ¿Qué tan seguido? Like, let's see, Katherine. How often do you shower? ¿Qué tan seguido se ducha? Man. <laughs> Solo cuando llueve. <laughs> okay. So you tell me, oh, I rarely shower. You see? Y también, va, solo para terminar de confirmar, va. En uh -huh. este que adverbio especial de sometimes, esas tres que nos dio se pueden usar, va. Al inicio o al final, o como yep. lo dice ahí. Ok. We don't use how many times. No usamos how many times. Because how many times doesn't ask for a frequency. It asks for a number. No utilizamos la expresión how many times. Porque eso quiere, cuando nos dicen esa expresión, nos están pidiendo un número. No una frecuencia. Ok. Alguien me preguntaba ahí en el grupo. Thank so, you, no, thanks to you. Any other question? 
Guys. Okay. Let's see. Let me, before I forget it, antes que se me vaya y se me escape, let me share it with you. Se los voy a compartir, ¿ok? Give me just one second. Okay, just one second, just one second. Okay, I'm sharing with you the the screenshot and the PPT in the PowerPoint presentation, okay? Les acabo de compartir la screenshot de lo que acaba de hacer en the board and the PPT in la PowerPoint. So you can check it out. Again, and as usual, guys, if you have any question, ask me, okay? I mean, it doesn't matter if the question arises tomorrow. No importa si se les ocurra mañana. Ask me. The idea is for you to have it clear. doesn't have to be right now. Any other question? Algo que se les haya ocurrido? Teacher. Yes. Um, and sometimes solo se agrega entonces el signo de interrogación um, um, creo que no me ha quedado muy claro este. es que no utilizamos los adverbios de frecuencia en preguntas Jaime en las preguntas usamos how often o sea oh. lo, lo podemos utilizar más que todo si sí los usamos a veces pero no todos ellos. Como por ejemplo usted, yo le puedo preguntar, are you usually at home? Yes. Are you usually at home? You see? But mostly, I ask you, uh, how often are you at home? ¿Qué tan seguido está en casa? Ok. Let me... No. Let me see. Eh, yes, tell me. Eh, solamente el sometime. Si solo es, si quiere preguntar algo, solo agregar el signo en, en el, el, el verbo especial, el verbo especial. Ok, lo que pasa es que no hacemos preguntas con sometimes. Ah, ok. I mean, ok, esa era entonces. Yeah, solo saber si se hace. You can use a question. You can ask a question. Yes, you can do it. But it's not, it doesn't sound natural. No suena natural que yo le pregunte, uh, does she sometimes work at night? Eso suena raro. Sí. I mean, does she sometimes work at night? We don't usually speak like that. Oh. I mean, okay. mostly we use uh, usually or we use ever, are you ever, but no with sometimes. Lo que pasa es que el sometimes en una oración afirmativa puede ir al inicio de la oración, según la regla o al final, en una afirmativa. O sea, la regla que les he explicado es para una afirmativa. Lo de las preguntas con adverbios lo van a ver más adelante, pero no los quiero confundir okay. ahorita. Okay. ok, ok. ¿Y se pueden hacer preguntas con adverbios? Sí. 
pero lo van a ver más adelante y ahorita lo voy a hacer bolas mejor slowly o slowly it's not that I don't want to teach it to you no es que yo no se los quiera enseñar it's just that at this moment I need you to get your mind in this point specific en este momento quiero que nos concentremos en este punto I mean in a, in a couple of modules en un par de módulos you're going to be using it again But you are going to be structuring more complex ideas. Pero van a estar estructurando ideas más complejas. And if I give it to you now, yes, yeah, sure, I can. Sí puedo dárselos. But it will mean that you will have to learn like, let's see, one, two, three, four, five, six different structures. Como seis estructuras distintas. I need you to learn just two. Quiero que se aprendan solo dos. Affirmative sentence. Okay. Just affirmative sentence and sometimes remember is special. En este caso okay. usted está aprendiendo afirmativo con el verbo ser o estar y afirmativo con cualquier otro verbo. Quiere decir que la regla general es la que aplica para todos los verbos. La regla especial es la que aplica para el verbo ser o estar. Okay. Y excepción a la regla es sometimes. El adverbio sometimes es una excepción a la regla. O sea, que en lo que yo les mandé, en la captura de pantalla que les mandé, la estructura base es la de la derecha. Esa es la base. La estructura especial es la que tenemos con las flechitas, la del verbo ser o estar. Yes. Y la excepción es lo último, lo del sometimes. Pero porque sometimes es un adverbio especial. Con eso quedémonos ahorita, ¿ok? Ok. I'm, I'm so sorry, I'm so sorry, but I would rather be honest with you, pero quiero ser honesto con ustedes. Si se los dejo ir todos ahorita, me van a linchar, porque los voy a confundir, ¿ok? Ok, teacher, don't and, worry. And this is, I mean, this is something that we go step by step. I apologize. Me disculpas. Ok, ok, thank you. Thanks to you, yes, because I was... Checking out that Catherine was preparing the knives and everything. Catherine ya estaba preparando cuchillos y todo para lincharme. Oh. Hold on, Catherine. Hold on. Behave. Take it easy, Catherine. Yeah, please. Please, Catherine. Behave. Okay, guys. Let me share something else with you. Let me compartirles algo más. We go back to the manual. Okay, do you remember? ¿Se recuerdan? That I told you that with this... Es especial, este es especial. In some, in some situations, in some books, you will find it like this. En algunos libros lo van a encontrar así. It's 50%. But, as I told you, it depends on who's speaking. Eso depende de quién está hablando, ¿ok? Actually, it depends all on who is speaking. Now, look, we got the frequency. 100%, 90, 80, 70. I mean, these are some. There are more, yes, there are more. Because we can also say, it. usually we can say instead of usually, you can say almost always, casi siempre. Instead of hardly ever or rarely, you can say almost never, casi nunca. Okay? In this case, if you notice, the rule that they are using applies to All the other verbs, not the verb. Aquí solamente se han enfocado en los otros verbos, no en el verbo cero estar. Look at the sentences. I always get up at five o'clock. He usually drives to work. She normally checks her email. I often have breakfast at work. She sometimes uses the microwave. I occasionally work overtime. Overtime. Tiempo extra. We seldom take calls at work. He rarely has conferences. I never get late to work. Okay, guys. Look, subject, adverb, the verb. Now, let's see. Let's do it. Uh, let's do something. Ana Maria, read the first sentence. Leme la primera oración. La verdad es que no la puedo ver. Ok, no problem. Brenda? Me rosso. Can you see it? Eh, in English. 
Yes, please, the first sentence, la primera oración, ¿la puede leer? I, our, help, up. Get up. Get up at five o'clock. Perfect, thank you. Next, David. He usually drive to work. Perfect, thank you. Brenda. And teacher, uh, teacher. Yes. Um, and, and the question con, con esa pregunta. Yo tengo una pregunta. Yes, tell me, tell me. Bueno, yo, yo, te, yo tengo una mala costumbre siempre como, como leer una frase y verla como se lee en español. Cuando dice, usually es usualmente o generalmente. Can be both. Puede ser cualquiera de ellas. Remember, si we are generalmente not... no, no, no me va a parecer usual. Usual. No, it will appear generally. But generally, it's the same idea. No, no, no. It's the same idea. Es no que mira, clasifica como... Por eso les decía yo, los adverbios de frecuencia no son solo estos. Ustedes se van a encontrar más. Estos son los más comunes. ¿Okay? Aquí tiene usted los más comunes. No son todos, pero sí son los más usados. Pero ¿cuál sería la forma correcta de, de utilizar este? Como usualmente o generalmente. It's a matter of style, depende cómo usted hable. I, I usually use usually. Yo normalmente uso usually. I mean, to be honest with you, I, but I'm talking about myself. Le estoy hablando de mí. I have never used generally. Yo nunca he usado generally. But that's because generally, when I learned no sé cómo que quisiera decir el... It's just no. that when I, when I speak, pero es que usualmente cuando yo hablo en mi idioma, que es el español, tampoco lo uso. Yo no uso generalmente, yo uso usualmente. It's a matter of style. Depende de su estilo, cómo usted habla. ¿Ok? Mm. Both are ok. Oh, okay. Uh, ok, thank you, teacher. I don't use uh, often. Yo rara vez digo a menudo. In my case, I almost always say, almost always. Yo uso casi siempre. I don't use often. I don't use seldom. Seldom, rarely. Este yo lo uso rarely, rara vez. <laughs> Así mismo, rarely. <laughs> yeah. You see? Yeah. You get it? See yeah. me explique? It's a matter of style. It will depend on you, how you, how you feel more comfortable speaking. Okay. So okay, we were reading, we were reading. Fatima Laura, please, the third one. She normally checks her email. She normally checks her email. Perfect. Thank you. Uh, Guillermo Josué, next one. Often. I often have breakfast, breakfast at work. Okay. Perfect, mister. Uh, Jaime Enrique, sometimes. Okay. She, so, she sometimes use the microwave. Perfect. She sometimes uses the microwave. Uses my, the microwave. Perfect. Thank you. Okay. Karen Martinez, you got occasionally. Um, I occasionally work ever time. Overtime. Overtime. Perfect. Judy, seldom. We seldom take for a course. Perfect. Roxana, hardly, uh, rarely. He rarely has conference. Perfect. Uh, Rover, never. Rover. Okay, Catherine Guadalupe, never. I never get late to work. Okay, 
Perfect. Okay, next activity, guys. It's going to be different. Now, do you remember that uh, we've been working with the routines, right? Hemos estado trabajando con las rutinas. What do you do on a regular day? Do you remember yesterday we were also working with things that you don't do on a regular day, right? Cosa que usted no hace. Okay, the things that you don't do are never. Okay? Like, I never sew garments, right? I never repair machines. I always uh, train people. So, what do I want you to do? I will send you to the groups, and I want you to share with your classmates three activities that you do, but using adverbs of frequency. Me van a, lo voy a enviar a los grupos y me van a compartir con sus compañeros tres actividades de su rutina diaria, pero usando los adverbios. ¿Ok? Telling the frequency. It's easy. It's what we did yesterday. Just add the adverb. Es fácil lo que hicimos ayer. Solo póngale el adverb. ¿Ok? Cualquiera, teacher. Yeah, it's up to you because it's your activities. Like, imagine, si su trabajo es coser todos los días, I always do garments. Yo siempre coso prendas, ¿no? Like Jaime, he always trains people, right, Jaime? All the time. Yes, all the time. But Yuri, she tell me, oh, I never train people. Yuri me decía, yo nunca train people. You see? Using the adverbs. That's all what I want. It's going to be easy because it's the same activities. It's lo mismo. We are talking about your routines, okay? So you're going to have five minutes for that. Easy. Groups are open. Jump in. Let's see, guys. You cannot get into the group. Let me adjust this. Okay.
Stanley, I just sent you to another group. No cambiar a otro grupo. Perfect. Okay, it's time to bring everybody back. Okay, guys, I guess the internet is acting up, right? Creo que no está dando lío el internet. Okay, Jaime, tell me one of your activities using adverbs of frequency, please. Um, I told Karim. Uh, okay. 
Uh, Karen never wake up late on weeks. Okay. Uh, Karen always travel bus. By bus. By bus. Okay. And, and Karen hardly wake up at weekends. Okay, perfect, perfect. Excellent. Now okay. let's see who's next, who's next, who's next. Uh, 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 Yuri, your turn, please. Um, Ana Maria. Ana uh, always cleans my machine. Um, she never eats at my workplace. Um, she hurry set my your email. Okay, perfect. Excellent. Who's next? Roxana, what you got for me? Que me tiene? No uh, mío. Yes, that's okay. Uh, I am. I I always stay with fans. Okay. I how have we ever have breakfast at work? Okay. I often can stay late. ¿Cómo se dice esa palabra? L A T E. Late. Late at work. Perfect. Thanks. Okay, now let's see <laughs> who's gonna be last. Oh no, I'm so sorry, it's time already. My bad, guys. Do me a favor, send me your sentences, las suyas personales. Send them to me, please, to the group. Share them in the group. Compartamoslos en el grupo, please, so I can check them. Así las puedo ir revisando. Because of the time, you can take a picture if you did them by hand. Tomen una foto si le hicieron a mano. If not, text them to me. Please, so I can check them. Okay, and meanwhile, let me get the final attendance. Déjenme tomar la asistencia. Ana María Rivas Durán. Present. Brenda Angélica Díaz de Chacón. Present. Sandy Sivania Rodríguez Leiva. David Armando Romero Hernández. Present teacher. Fátima Laura Mejía Meléndez. Present teacher. Uh, Fátima Lisset Pineda Paniagua. Present. Guillermo Josué Osorio Ventura. Ay. Present. Jaime Enrique uh, Flores Sánchez. Present teacher. José Roberto Ramírez Beltrán. Karen Tatiana Menéndez Aguirre. Karen Zuleima López Martínez. Carla Beatriz García de la O. Present. Catherine Guadalupe García Chachagua. Present teacher. Libni Rocío Rivera Lemos. Mónica Liliana Ocotán Barahona. Present. Nelson Stanley Cardona Hernández. Present teacher. Patricia Verónica Linares Mengíbar. Roxana Elizabeth Ramírez Lima. Present teacher. Víctor Alberto Trujillo Cruz. Present. Churi Magdalena Villanueva de Trinidad. Present. Well, thank you guys. See you tomorrow. Have a good night. Take care. Good night, teacher. Good night, teacher. Good night. Thank you. Good night. Good night. Bye. Bye, teacher. Bye, take care. Bye, teacher. Good morning.
Good evening. Good night. Good night. Good morning is in the morning. Good morning en la mañana. You scare me. Yo dije, me dormí, desperté aquí. Good night. Have a good night. Take care. Bye bye. Bye. Bye, teacher. Bye. Bye, guys. Teacher, ahora sí va a quedar conmigo. Yes. Okay, Fátima, hello, how are you? ¿Cómo estamos? So, so. Okay, okay. Tell me, dígame, cuénteme, ¿hay algún tema en particular que le gustaría que reforcemos o alguna duda? ¿Cómo vamos es que... con lo que hemos visto? Yo digo que voy bien, porque le he entendido a todo, pero ya si lo llevo a la práctica, siento que oh, no pudiera. Ok, don't worry, don't worry, no se preocupe por eso. That's a matter of practice, realmente es una cuestión de práctica. And that's what we are doing here, es lo que estamos haciendo acá. Of course, it won't happen overnight, no va a pasar de la noche a la mañana. I mean, mm -hmm. some of your classmates are more advanced. Algunos de sus compañeros van un poquito más avanzados, pero they have taken classes before, ya han tomado clases antes. ¿Ok? Ok. And in your case, according to the level, you are doing ok. De acuerdo al nivel, yo la veo que va bien. Perhaps what you need to do, mire, quizás lo que le puede ayudar un poquito es que acostumbre el oído. Ok. Sí. And, and also to, 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 to check Quizás a la hora de decir las cosas, el formar las oraciones más rápido. Eh, do you like music? ¿Usted escucha música? Mm, casi no. Mm. Pero Because... si siento que eso me va a ayudar, puedo hacer el esfuerzo. Yeah, sure. I mean, what you could do is this. Lo que podría hacer es esto. Look for the couple of songs that you like. Busque un par de canciones que le gustan. Look for them. Uh, just first the music. Solo primero la música. Listen to it once, twice. Escúchala un par de veces. Then look for it. Luego búsquela de nuevo. But with lyrics in English. Con las letras en inglés. ¿Ok? Ok. That will help you to. Eso le va a ayudar a que primero usted escuchó, reconoció y luego comienza a leer. Va a relacionar lo que oye con el, el sonido, con la palabra. Ahora, no le digo que trate de entenderlo, todo lo que dice, porque no estamos en ese nivel todavía. Pero, ¿en qué le va a servir? Poco a poco van a ir, van a ver palabras que usted va a ir reconociendo, que ya ha visto, y va a ir recordando algunas de ellas, qué es lo que quieren decir. Entonces, poco a poco usted se va a ir armando de vocabulario. Okay. Uh -huh. A la hora de hablar, lo que más necesitamos es vocabulario. El vocabulario, como se adquiere, con bastante práctica y mucho leyendo. Pero, o sea, tenemos trabajo, tenemos familia, tenemos hogar, ¿verdad? No siempre tenemos el tiempo sí. para ponernos a leer. Entonces, hagámoslo con una actividad que nos va a servir como ocio, o sea, de las que hacemos para relajarnos un ratito, pero vamos a estar practicando al mismo tiempo. Sí. Y eso también le va a servir a usted a que agarre un poquito de fluidez. ¿Cómo? Haga esto. Primero las escucha, ¿verdad? Luego llegamos al punto en el que las está leyendo con su vista. Luego comience a hacer solo la mímica, a formar las palabras. Así como la oye y la va leyendo, tratar de irla formando. ¿Ok? Uh -huh. Dando, sin producir sonido, solo formando. Cuando ya llegó a ese punto, luego pasa usted al momento en el cual lo va a hacer, pero ya ahora produciendo el sonido. ¿Eso en qué nos ayuda? Nos va a dar fluidez. ¿Ok? Ok. Porque su boca okay. ya va a estar acostumbrada a cómo se forman. Ajá. Creo que la entendí. Sí. O sea, la idea es que eso nos ayuda a nosotros a tomar el ritmo de cómo, cómo se dicen las palabras. O sea, porque realmente, I mean, actually we don't speak like this. No hablamos así plano. Actually, when we speak, we speak like this. Cuando hablamos, hacemos eso, subimos, bajamos, right? And all the words yeah. are like that. Y todas las palabras son así. But, I mean, that's going to help you to 
get the rhythm. Eso le va a ayudar a tomarle como el ritmo. Sí, porque me siento que es de las cosas que más me cuestan a la hora de leer muchas pausas. ¿eh? Yeah, don't worry, don't worry. That's normal. Es que está en un básico 2. Es normal, don't worry. <laughs> What happens here is this, that you are in an intensive course. Lo que sucede es que está en un curso intensivo. You are receiving a lot of vocabulary. Está recibiendo mucho vocabulario, súper rápido. Sí. But slowly, but steady, you're going to make it. Lento, pero despacio usted lo va a lograr. No se preocupe, ¿ok? Lento, pero okay. constante. ¿Sí? Sí. Vaya. No sé si hay alguna otra cosita. Creo que no. Ok. It was a pleasure to have you here, Fatima. Fue un placer. Do the exercise. If you think it, does, it is not working, let me know and I will get you more. Haga ese ejercicio. Si siente que no mucho le funciona, me avisa y le voy a buscar algo distinto, ¿ok? Ok. Gracias, Perfect. teacher. Hasta buenas noches. Have a good night. Take care. Good night. Good night. Well, that's it for tonight. See you tomorrow. Bye-bye.